Uh, but what we left with last time was we did Yiskadal, except I forgot to do the bottom part. And then we're still today, though, we're going to go to Yiskadash. So, Yiskadal, Yiskadash. So, once again, I want to read just for the flavor of what he's saying, uh, the very top where it says Kaddish de Garbanos. That's what this is called, Kaddish de Garbanos. He said, Yekaden ba'amra hushvach ha'gadol v'ha'kodesh hazer b'loshen targum. So, we want to say this in the targum. And there's no explanation exactly why the, why the targum, but the targum is, uh, has something to do with the interface between the Klipos and, and uh, Kedusha. He says, Lubeloshen targum l'hachnir ha'kali v'lubadla l'vavarach v'la'alkos v'tochem as yud alas mine Kedusha. So, first of all, this sounds like the same thing that we had uh, when we were doing uh, the Pita Makatoras. So, this is something, seems like it seems to be relating to it. But his words are Yud, Yud, Yud Aleph Mini Kedusha, Shinishara Behem Mizam Zun, Mizam is Zun, Zayim Malochem, which is Zun, Shehem Vavke, Baham Rechem Laosius Yudke. So it's a, an attempt to make a yichud, he says, to pull these things up. I, that's what it sounds like. And the Chavram, he said, when you, when you want to take the Vavke, that's the, 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 the Nitzutzas, or he says, he says, the Kedusha, the, the mini Kedushas, and he wants to make a yichud here. So we started out with Yiskadel, and that had to do with the side of Ima. Now we're going to Yiskadesh, and this has, to, which is interesting because normally we always have Abago first. Here goes Ima going first. And then it says Yiskadesh. So that was Yiskado. So just look at it, the words. And, and, and basically what he has down below in the schematic of the Oros is really just a depiction, not just. It's a depiction of the words that he says up above. So try to figure out what he's saying up above. Yiskadesh says, If you come in the Hamshech Tzalem, now Tzalem normally means to me that Tzalem was part of the aspects of Ima or Yisrael Sabbatavuna. Like that, but this is the this is the side of of Chochma, at any rate of Abba. So Yiskadish Yekavin Lachamshech Tzalem the Neir the Naranchi. So the uh, the Ruach the Ruach has Naranchi. We're talking about these two lower parts of it, the, the Neir. So what are we doing with it? We're gonna we're gonna extend it. We're we're gonna cause them to flow downwards. I guess is what he means. So the Naranchi the Ruach im Mochin the Yenika together with Mochin the Yenika which was at the Abba which is Mochin the Katnis. Shehem Gimel Elokim. So he's we're going to see this. So this is what we're bringing down. We bring down these three Mochin of Katnis. Mulubashi Benai Yisod Yisod, and then they're clothed in the Nai uh, uh, and uh, Benai. So Benai Yisod the Odef. Now I can't I can't figure out what he means by this. So the additional you sewed. Okay, let me call Rebbe back here. Uh, let me see how we do this. Go like that. Go like that. Oi. Trying to call me back. Okay, we'll try it again. Wait, he's still trying to call me back. Oh, you go, yes, ma'am. Clear off. Clear off. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we got you back again, Bar Hashem. Now, uh, okay, so I didn't know what this this means. Maybe it's it's shown down below, but I'm not sure. He said this in Yisoda Odif, the extra Yisoda. This what sounds like to me. Who Shakai? Uh, which they add this on to, uh, Shakai Male, which has a gematria of the same thing, is Kadash. So then he says, this is what, just, just looking at it, he says, this is what the Nair, the, the Ramki, the Ruach looks like. And what you have here is really Chagat Nine. So he says, so there's, there's what you saw, the Nair is another, but we're talking about Oros, because Neros, the Ramki has to do with Panemius, the most Panemius thick apart. Which is the Oros. So here are the Oros. These are the Oros of the Naranchi, which are called the Nerer, the, 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 uh, the Nair of the Naranchi, of, of the Ruach the Abba, which we're trying to bring Ruach in. So he says, this is the Ruach of Abba. I don't know. Just looking at it, 
not trying to say that I understand exactly what he's doing. And I, the more I look at this, the more I think that uh, of, uh, let me see a little problem here. Uh, the more I think uh, that Rabbi Memron, when he said, don't ask why, it, it, uh, you know, anyway, this is what it is. He said, these are the lights. These are the lights. And what what's happening to the light? What did he say? In Mochin, the Yenika, the Abba, what are the, and, and so these are the lights. They're going into the Mochin of Abba. These are the Mochin of Abba. Now, so we have Oros and Mochin. And then they're going into this, uh, the three Elokims. So all of this light going into these Elokims of Katniss. And then it fin finishes up, uh, with the, uh, the Mili of Shaka. Turns out the Mili of Shaka, and I'm not sure if that means to say uh, this is also another aspect. In other words, uh, what, what we had, um, what were we trying to say? Uh, uh any, anyway, the, I, I don't know what I was trying to say. So anyway, it comes out of the same, same gematria as Yiskadash. What exactly does it? We'd be doing, or, the, what I was trying to say was you have Oros, then you have, uh, Mochin, Mochin de Katniss, and then you have this Shakai, which is the, once again, we understand that this is the spread of, uh, downwards through the Yusot. And then it says like this, which I'm not pretending that I really understand it. It says, parts of Lenai Vachagat the Chagat. So we understand that the, the let's we'll look at it again. Is it Nai Vachagat the Chagat? So remember seeing the chart over there in the Kudus, the Kudus of Kasif, not understanding what this is talking about, but the Rishash says that there's a parts of, which is called, uh, Chagat. And he says the Chaga could be devotion voted into probably a Chaba Chaga Nai. But here we're dealing with the lower part, which is the part we said before, which is the Vav K, is the Nai Vachaga to the Chaga, the Zeran Pin. And this is a part that I don't understand at all. I, I just, I, I, I'm praying that it's, I'm thinking, maybe it's a misprint. So he says, what do we have here? He says the Nai Vachaga the Chaga, the Zeran Pin. And he explains that. So he says, is there Shu Eric Anpin Vanuk? Yisrael Saba, uh, uh, Hanikra Za, and Yisrael Saba, and that's called Za. I, I just, once again, using that rule, so he wants to say in this situation, Zer Anpin, what part are we talking about? I said, I really don't know. Shehem Eric Anpin, Vanuk, Yisrael Saba, and other Yisrael Saba. Now, to me, that doesn't that make any sense, but they themselves, he says, are called Zer Anpin. And where are they going? They're going to the Hechel Kachi Kachin Da Sia. They're going down into that very, very, I guess the top place in the Sia, the Zeranpin, the Tzilus, but the Rasia Atachtoina, and then also down to where we are. Okay, anyway, that's the, that's just the look, the look that I, that I wanted to look at that, that, uh, that. So let's go over to now to the Tivagavanos. And we'll get to, although we have a few minutes, uh, we'll just take a few minutes and we'll go through this. Uh, and I think we got down to number, well, I have it marked that we have to be on Pei Gimel. So I'm just going to read the top of Pei Gimel because I think we went through that already, but I'm not sure. All right, well, let's really Pei Gimel down below. So Pei Gimel was an was a an extension of the ideas that we're talking about. But Khan Nakish Al Shar Olamo. So this is what we want to get to. We compare what we know from what's happening. That is by bringing the ruach onto the gar of Asiya, the ruach of Tzitzira onto the gar of Tzira by saying Kaddish. He says from there you can learn this from all the different different Olamos. So this could be the same thing with all the Malchios of all the rest of the Olamos of Bria, Yitzir, and Asiya. So he says the Malchos of Bria now has come into the Kodakadosh Kedosh and the Yitzir. It's up at the very top of Yitzir. That the Malchus itself of Olam Abriya, Yoredis, this is the concept of Malchus, is Yore. Yoredis, Behechu Kodu Gedosh, and the Yitzira goes down to the top of Yitzira, and this allows for the light to come through, Shu the Chabad the Olam Yitzira, which is the Chabad of Yitzira. But on the Malchus, the Yitzira, he Behechu Kodu Gedosh, and the Asiya, which is down there. So everything, all these Malchus go down. 
Behind Hamalchus the Olam Yitzira, so therefore we see like this: the Malchus of Olam Yitzira, your red is the Hechel Kodesh Kedosh, and the Olam Asiya goes down into that place. Shuhu Chaba the Olam Asiya, which is the Chaba. Okay, so I just want to read a little bit of this, uh, so that we can get the flavor. Uh, and here's some some uh, arichos on this idea. The idea that he's talking about here is uh, Od. So he says. Uh, Od hakdama ham amavar b'arichos seder ha'hechelos. So now we're getting into a new concept. He says we want to talk to you about b'arichos the seder ha'hechelos. The these hechelos. Uh, so which I can't call them par, par, uh, palaces or chambers. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly what they what we say. Who hakdama levar kavanas akadish b'pratos? Now we're trying to look at the kadish more more deeply. So let, I guess we'll go down below and we'll read down below. So he said, pay Vav. He says, all of this should knock them. So necessary that we should come first. Should knock them. The Chol Od Hakdama Achas. The Vav is us and his and his buyer Leel. Yesh to knock them. The Chol Hakdama Achas no Sefes. He says, for Gam Bezeh Yuvan Masha his buyer the command be Ezes Hashem. For Gam Yoel the Masha the buyer the command be Ezes Hashem. Being in essence of the same, this apparently is going to be something over there. The Arba Emes that you find in that piece, as you desak them, Bo Ayin Sham. So it could be something there. She Sham Bir Harav as a sod the essence of the same. That's interesting. He said, of as a time should take this Emes, and why the word Emes in his care is Bo Arba Pamim, why it's called four times. So of a Bo Yis Boyer, and in that we could pay the Vor of the Chol. How is it that in one Hechel you have six other ones? That in itself has four specific Hechelos. Uh, 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 and then the one at the top, it has four. 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 So let me see. So, so he says again, there's Arba Hechelos, Pratian, which are called Kesser, Chachma, Bina, and Das. Okay, there's the four. Bina is Bar, but a Makom Acher, now we've explained elsewhere. Ki Arba Rabbalamel saying there are four different Olomos. Hanikroi, Matzila, Bri, Yitzira, and Asiyan. So this is called Amsa, uh, Asmag, uh, and let's move on. We call Echad Nechem, and each one of them, he says, Huba Bekinis Asara has an aspect of ten to it. So he says, let me find this in one second. We call Echad Me'elo Arba Rabbalamos Bia, he says, he's just going to repeat the same thing. Kolo Me'es Sfirot Prati Hashem Kach Bad Chagat Nai. So there's your ten Sfirot. Bekinis Shalosha Asa, but it also has a count of thirteen. Gashechad Nitzar of Gam as Sidre Aliyazim Be'ez of the Filos, which also count. That they're going to be moving up at time to the field at when we're praying. As I nimsa should be called echad ma'arba kabalomu kolulus od shlosha sefiras pratias. We're going to see something else that there's going to be another three spheros that are going to be associated with them. Shehem shlosha sefiras chabad the olam ashalamata b'mena, which are the spheres of the chabad of the olam that's below it. Ugodech sev harav leel. Barucha Levoyer say the Holy and that the lower three managed to come up into that. It gives you thirteen. The Naskil min Bria. So he says, let let's start from Bria. We'll learn this little piece here, and then we'll try to move over to the Sifra that's new done. The Naskil min Bria. The Rav Maskil the Farsha of Levarim Olam Bria. Now we're going to start talking about Olam Bria. We want to focus on this, and I guess he wants to say that the, there's aspects of every Olam. That have all of the aspects of everything else in it. He says that all the time. So as we say, the Hemne Kroim, the Esospheros are called Shis Dargin de Kursia. They're called the six steps of the throne. Olam Abriya Nikra Olam Akise. Shuhu Akise El Olam Ashalamalam because it becomes a throne or a seat, let's say by the Sha'olam Atzila of Olam Atzilos. In other words, it penetrates into that place and lodges there. The Zechava Olam Akise Mitzchalib Ofen the Lahalan. Now he's going to explain as we go on 
how it is that the olam of the, uh, of the kise is actually arranged. Sheish nargos the kise shem sheish spheres hagat nai. So those are the three three steps. Vehem al shisha hechelos the olam abria b'mat alamala. So those are the six steps of olam abria from the bottom to the top. Varva raglim the kursia, and then there are four actually four legs of the of the throne. Varva raglim shal the kise. Heim arvis spheres al yonos, but that's it. Seems like it's a contradiction in terms. He said these are the legs. He says the legs are at the top. Sheheim a hechola ha elyon ha nikba kachba de olamabria, which is the kachba de olamabria. A little bit more. Ha reheim a so you add them up, and now you're going to have ten there. Gashach of the tsaras has a shisha dang in the corsia. Sheheim a shesh spheres shall chagad nai. Im arvich a ragle her shall the kisa. Sheheim a hechola elyon the kolo arvis spheres of yonas kachba. Ha reheim biyahad makes ten. Okay, and that's Ola Mabria. Kaniska Viparsha's bow uh bow Barai Mahemna over there. The Shis Dargim Bar Baraglim is the Corsia. Bukulum Hem Asara uh so I think he Hem S Spheras will go on. The Bukula Rabbi Ihu Corsia, the whole thing, that is what is called the throne. We'll call the S Spheras the Ola Mabria, Hem the Crime Corsia. So we'll stop here. We'll try to pick up the, there's a little bit more over there, I think, in the Ramak, in the Sifra that Today is the 8th of Kislev. Okay, I'll move, make a mark here. And we'll move on.